Creaky fears the dome. Now, I'm not saying that I don't fear the Dorma, but I don't know exactly what the Dorma is. We all know that Creaky fears the Dome. Ah, right, Dome. Why didn't you just say it like that in the first place then? And no, I don't fear the Dome because I've got this tendency to not fear things that aren't actually real. And that's why he made a, a, a damage control video on my, uh, on my video, Hide the Dome, regarding Will Duffy, the atheist, uh, Glober. So if my video was damage control, what does that make you as? And I have no idea how a Christian pastor can also be an atheist. But anyway, let's have a look, shall we? Please subscribe. Gematria, a system of assigning numerical values to letters to find hidden meanings in words, is considered nonsense due to its arbitrary nature, subjective interpretations, lack of evidence, and reliance on confirmation bias. The numerical values assigned to letters vary between systems, leading to inconsistent interpretations. Any hidden meanings derived are subjectives and unverifiable, with no historical or scientific basis. Now, believers like Mr. Jamaria here often focus on confirming examples while ignoring the contradictions, like the ones in my last video about him, further reinforcing their belief in a system that lacks any real validity. So ultimately, Gematria is a form of numerology that creates the illusion of meaning through arbitrary connections and biased interpretation. That is uh, promoting his final experiment to go to Antarctica, okay? So he can prove the 24 hour sun because he's hiding the dome, okay? That's the only reason. But so Will is hiding the dome all by himself, and you actually believe that, do you? And of course, they had to send in Creaky. And uh, Creaky, next time getting my name correct, it's not Jamatria, it's Mr. Jamatria. Oh yeah, because that's the only thing you really need to worry about, isn't it? Whether or not I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, Creaky uh, thinks he knows uh, English Gematria, but he doesn't know English Gematria. Now, I didn't actually say I knew Gematria, but I did say that I knew you could find a tool for pretty much anything on the internet, even this nonsense. Damage control, puppet, Creaky, given a script. But I don't use scripts. I literally listen to what you say, press record, and see what comes out of my mouth. Everything I say comes straight off the dome. So you should like it. Two days later, after I made my Will Duffy video on the final experiment, send uh, to make a video upon me. Upon you? Don't you mean about you? And who exactly do you think sent me this so-called script and instructed me to make a video about you? A hit video to dismiss me but you can't dismiss me, Creaky, okay? Okay, but don't you think if my intention was to dismiss you, I would have just not bothered making a video at all? And uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how to do English Gematria. Yay! Google it, you know, maybe if you're worthy one of these days, I'll make a video explaining how uh, you can become Mr. Jamacha, but I wouldn't bother because even a flat earther like you should realize by now what I'll do with that video if you do make it. And that really upset me, got me right in the feels, saying that I'm not worthy to be taught Jamatria. How rude. Let's do some Jamatra and Creaky and uh, why he fears the dome also. Well, as I've already said, I don't fear the dome because the dome isn't real, but I love to see what my name comes out. I hope it's 69. Will it, will it be 69? Is Creaky in numerology or Gematria 69? I hope so. So let's take a look at a, a website that is called Gematrinator.com, okay? Gematrinator? That is so cool. You carry on with the explanation and then I'll be back. It's one of the websites you can find out there. You can also find calculators, uh, apps, and uh, English Gematria. But that's what I used in my first video. In fact, I think from memory, it was one of the websites you just mentioned, but you said I got everything wrong. Why did I get everything wrong? Was it because it completely disagreed with everything you claim? These are all 
the ciphers of English gematria. They're all created by the Jesuits because they stole the Hebrew gematria and then they came out with their own version of English gematria. That's how they, they code things. That's how they code numbers, you know, into words, words into numbers by using uh, their version of Hebrew gematria, which is called English gematria, okay? Using the English alphabet, which they created, okay? Yeah, but the English alphabet wasn't invented by a single person. It evolved over millennia, and they and them had absolutely nothing to do with it. It originated from ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, which influenced the Phoenicians to create a 22-letter alphabet around 1050 BC. And the Greeks adapted this by adding vowels. And the Etruscans and Romans further refined it into a Latin alphabet. And then finally, Anglo-Saxons, who initially used runes, adopted the Latin alphabet due to Christian missionaries in the 7th century AD. So our alphabet is a product of cultural exchange and adaptation across many different civilizations. So the only four ciphers that I use in English Gematra are these four up here, which this one, they call it here in the website Ordinal, which is just simple English Gematra. Okay, but why do you need to use four different versions? Is it just in case one version doesn't say what you want it to say, you've always got these other three to fall back on? Because I can't think of any need to use four different versions. This, the way it works, is you just take the alphabet, like down here, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, and so forth, until you end the English alphabet with the letter Z. And that was the exact version of Gematria I used in my first video about you, so how could I possibly have been wrong? With the number 26, it's super simple, that's why it's called simple English gematria. Okay, this is elementary stuff. Anybody can do this one. But not me, clearly, because according to you, I got it all wrong. The reason Creaky made a video on me responding to that video is because... Because it's what I do for a living. And to be fair, I really enjoy proving flat earthers wrong and pointing out every single mistake they make. People do it to me in my videos when I make a mistake. So why should flat earthers be immune to it? Like I said, he's a puppet. He was given a script to do a hit video on me two days later. No, I wasn't. And if I was a puppet, wouldn't I be saying things like got a gear? <laughs> and if you take a look at my channel, Mr. Gematria, I only have 3,000 and a half subscribers okay i'm a super small channel super small and if you take a look at my videos i barely get any views yeah but that's because they shit them filled with misinform sorry did i say that out loud then and if you go down to my very first video i started with wrestling videos making gematria of videos on wrestlers well maybe you should have stuck with wrestling then because maybe you'd get more views then Wrestling's very popular, or so I hear. Much more popular than Flat Earth. So my subscribers in the beginning were mostly wrestling fans. But once I started making controversial videos... People stopped watching your... stuff? Yeah, that's not surprising, because if they subscribe for wrestling videos, why the hell are they going to watch your flat earth nonsense? And the same would apply for me. If I was to suddenly start making gardening videos instead of debunking the flat earth, my views would take a nosedive off a cliff. That's why I have so many subscribers, and nobody really watches my... Uh my videos because have you got anything useful to say because the last couple of minutes have been boo hoo poo and me i don't get views so uh what's my point yeah i was wondering that as well to be honest my point is why would a big channel like creaky which has 87,000 and a half subscribers. Well, it's almost 89 and a half thousand now. See? And while we're on the subject of channels, for those of you who missed it, I've started a second channel called Creaky Extra, and that's on 2,400 subscribers. Thank you, everybody. You're a bunch of legends. And if you haven't subscribed, head over there and do it now. No, 
maybe finish watching this video first and then do it. Or if you do go and do it now, make sure you come back. Pick on a channel like me that's super small. Now, come on, as one grown man to another, you can't tell me you've never heard the saying, it's not the size that counts, it's what you do with it. And the size of the channel is completely irrelevant when it comes to me making videos because I do not discriminate. I don't care if you've got one subscriber or one million subscribers. If I think you're wrong and I think I can demonstrate that you're wrong, I'm gonna make a video about you. Doesn't get any views. Why would he make a hit video on me, Mr. Gematria? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Reason one is because Gematria is nothing more than pseudoscientific waffle. And reason two is because you're a flat earther. It's kind of what I do. Okay, the reason is because they know the truth is called damage control. You can think whatever you want. It makes zero difference to me and you call it damage control, which is interesting because as far as I can tell, the only damage that's being done to anything by the final experiment, because that's what your original video was about, is to the flat earth and it's fun to watch the flat earth community tear itself apart from the inside. Simple as that. They know that the earth, okay, is flat. It's a water world, a water flat earth with a dome on top. Well, I've got to admit, calling it a water world is new even to me. I've never heard that before. And how about this, Mr. Gematria? If you were so certain that the earth is a flat water world covered by a dome, Prove it! Stop trying to make things fit with what you already believe by manipulating words using numbers. Creaky has no business doing a hit video on me. I'm a super, super small channel. But they gotta do damage control. Do you know, I think I might have found why you get so few views. Now, I'm not an expert and this isn't intended to be advice, but all you've done in this video is continuously repeat yourself. You've said multiple times, why would Creaky make a video about me? I'm a small channel. Because they know they have to hide the dome at all causes at all cost not causes cost and going back to you saying that i only made a video about you because it was damage control and bearing in mind that all you've done in your video is bitch and moan that you don't get many views and that you're a tiny channel so with all that in mind what damage could you possibly do that would need to be controlled and that's how you know that the final experiment and Will Duffy, the atheist, Freemason, fake pastor, is an agent, a shell, and an infiltrator and a liar. Hang on a second, why are you picking on a tiny channel like the final experiment? See, it can work both ways. Because two days later, they had to respond. No, I didn't have to respond. I chose to. And the reason I did it so quickly is because every morning when I arrive in the studio, the first thing I do is have a look to see if any flat earthers have made new content about the final experiment. And then I respond to those videos. So let's go back to the simple Gematra that I was showing you. Ricky says that, uh, that I don't know Gematria, but... Hello, I'm Mr. Gematria. See, Creaky just doesn't understand English Gematria. And I'm Creaky, but it doesn't mean I squeak everywhere I go. And of course I don't understand English Gematria because I don't bother to learn pseudoscientific crap. I do. That's why I'm Mr. Gematria. Yeah, we got that the first 20 times you said that you don't need to keep repeating yourself. Creaky, okay, equals 63, okay? Like I said, simple English Gematria. Super basic, okay? Oh, I'm 63. Well, that's disappointing. Creaky can uh, discredit this whatsoever. This one, super simple. Like I said, you can't go wrong. But apparently I did.
63 with creaky, okay? In English gematria. High dome equals 63. Well, that's me told, isn't it? And I've got a question, and this is a genuine question. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not trying to be funny, nothing like that. So if somebody else whose name didn't happen to be represented by the number 63 had made a video debunking your waffle how would you have managed that would you have just had to use like a different version of Jamatia to make sure the numbers matched or would they have been found not guilty the puppet that was sent to discredit me two days later in his channel making a hit video on me to discredit me, me, okay, Mr. Gematria. You can't, you just can't. You can't discredit me. But I did. And here's the proof, Creaky 63 in the first cipher, okay, which is the basic elementary cipher that anybody can learn in English Gematria, equals 63, Creaky equals 63, Hide Dome equals 63. Right, I am almost 52 years old and I have spent my entire life being blamed for things that weren't my fault, but there is no way I'm taking the blame for this. I'm not hiding the dome. And the reason you can be so certain that I'm not hiding the dome is because there is no dome. Unless, of course, you can prove me wrong. I'd like to see you try. That's not a coincidence. If you think that's a coincidence, then they might never be any hope for you ever, ever. And creaky, like I said. Oh, wait, sorry, you'll have to bear with me because there's the thumbnail. I just need to press the snapshot button. Cheers. And uh, Will Duffy, uh, please, okay, uh, cancel the final experiment. Not gonna prove anything whatsoever. Yeah, it is. It's gonna prove every flat earther who has ever said that a 24 hour sun in Antarctica is impossible completely and utterly wrong. On a flat earth, you can't have a 24 hour sun, a midnight sun in Antarctica. The 24 hour sun in Antarctica doesn't work on a flat earth. Let me and you go to Antarctica, spend a week there in the summer, and let's see if. The sun does a 360 degree circle all the way around us. If so, it's a ball. But if the sun comes in this way and then leaves that way, then it's not. Right, if you haven't already, I would very much appreciate it if you'd head over to Creaky Extra and hit the subscribe button over there. All it basically is, and it may or may not be of interest to you, each of the videos, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from this channel, are being condensed into one 45 to 60 minute episode and being uploaded on the Creaky Extra channel. So let's say for argument's sake, you missed a couple of videos this week, and if you're lazy like me, you probably can't be asked to go troll in through my channel to find the videos you've missed. Well, on Sunday at 7.30 p.m., I will be uploading all three videos in one long video. I feel like I'm over explaining it now. Thank you all so much for watching. And oh yeah, and if you're new here, subscribe here as well. Duh. Love you, bye. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, ever, ever.